what it is I'm trying to say, <laughs> but we will try and render this tribute for my brother, Bishop Craig E. Brown, also my brother. We have brought the Bible of our mother and the Bible of our father for this occasion. And this is for a person of numerous talents, a strategist, a composer. We know of his musical prowess, an athlete, an architectural genius that can step onto the platform of nothing and envision and bring into fruition and will run to the flame of a challenge. He has an amazing, keen sense of hearing and his name means stone, so that we will try and render from the viewpoint of imagination's portal and the vantage point of creative writing, utilizing some of his language, a stone uprising. There's a ringing in my ear as the tolling of a bell. It's astounding, so resounding, of a revolution it does tell. Now there's a tipping and a tapping, such as a knocking and a rapping. There's a shaking of the trees. There's a rustling in the leaves. Oh, there's a stone of rising. There is heard in the mountains and heard on the plains, heard in the motion of progression's train, heard in wilderness outbacks, heard down by moving forwards railroad tracks, heard in ships' transportation ports, heard in judicial council courts, heard in a street lamp's illumination, heard at the resurrection's revival station, heard at home and heard abroad, heard where ancestors' feet have trod. They all most suddenly emphatically proclaim, oh, there's a stone uprising. It's time for change. Heard in expectation stance, heard in the choreography of participation's dance, heard in the turbines and pistons of solidarity's machine, heard even where the consecration convenes, heard in the meter of a poet's rhyme, heard in the rhythm of due season's time, heard in ocean waves applause, heard for this time and for this cause, heard in myriad grains of sand, heard in uni unity's defiant stand, heard in midnight stars that blanket the sky, heard in advancement's battle cry, heard on the entire planet Earth stage, oh, there's a stone uprising. He's bringing change. Now there's a ringing in my ear as the tolling of a bell. There is the sound of due season's courier, an emissary sent by destiny to find the lineage of the stone and relay the message, there's a bishop rising. Told to take the compass of excellence and run past great moments in time, past landmarks and cultural monuments, past ancient times of antiquity, and locate bishops and prophets, evangelists, pastors, missionaries, and teachers and prayer warriors. The messenger was given instruction on his quest to run past the golden age of Hellenistic Greece and find and keep running until you find missionary Helena Circe Glover, the maternal aunt. Travel past China's Great Wall and keep running until you find the godmother of the stone and maternal aunt Dr. Janie Ellen Teresa Circe Lane, the last remaining of the Circe Twelve. Navigate around the Renaissance era until you find the maternal Grandparents, Bishop Robert Lincoln Searcy and Missionary Rosa Britton Searcy. Run past the contributions of Rodin and Renoir until you find the paternal godfather, godfather Deacon Raymond Brown. Jaunt past Stonehenge of Europe and keep going until you find the paternal grandmother, Snowbird Kerr Brown. Journey around and find the additional lineage that never saw his face but planted seeds of harvest for this day. Paternal great-grandparents, Papa Jack Kerr and Mama Sally Major Kerr. Maternal great-grandparents, Hattie and Louis Britton. The courier found the lineage and delivered the message. And there came a return message from the lineage to relay to the stone. They spoke and said, tell the stone to look on his attire, on his vestments, look on his mitre hat his stole, his scarf and tiplet, his rocher, his shamir, his cassock, 
Look closely in the embroidery and he'll find the word mercy from Aunt Helen. He'll find put on John's shoes from Bishop Circe. He'll find located in the stitching, Lord build a hedge around him from Rosa Circe. He'll find congratulatory words from Aunt Teresa. He'll find yes we do agree from Raymond and Snowbird. Now there's a ringing in my ear, this tolling of a bell. For advancing from the lineage line, two dynamic parental forces. Heard is Bishop Eugene Brown, D.D. He states his motto of endearment. Bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. My race ended before this day. But I ran valiantly with expectation and participation to pass you the baton. As you're an anchor leg runner at Magnificent Marathoner, you've got an awesome leg kick. You can go the distance. I've etched in your crozier, prayer changes things. I've inscribed on your collar St. John 15 and 7, and remember, make it according to the pattern. Heard is elect lady Alpha Brown, R-N-B-S-N. I was blessed and highly favored to be your mother. I watched you run every single race. I encouraged at your first sermon, sleeping under a juniper tree, that I may not always be there with you, but hold on to God. Look inside your coop. I've sown my love in the lining. Now run and make 100 and endure to the end. Remember Psalms 23. There's a ringing still in my ear as the tolling of a bell. For in the bleachers of the support is heard run, my brother run. Run cross country and relay your vision. Implement your amazing stamina. Implement your leg kick. That notorious anchor leg. The stealth you come from behind. A force to be reckoned with. A ruthless stride. Run in this day, in this dawn, this hour, this dispensation, this era, this time, this generation, this season, this age, this 1910, this present, this moment, this span, this daybreak. Run, my brother, run. Run in courage and meet the challenge. Run in righteousness. Run in authority with authenticity and agility. Run in integrity. Run with greatness and goodness and gratitude. Run, my brother, run. Run, my bishop, run and relay the vision. Run like Elijah. Run like Paul. Run like Abraham. Stagger not at the promise of God. Run like Nehemiah. Run like Enoch. Run like Job. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Run like Joseph. Run in excellence. Run with boldness and brilliance. Run with richness. Run with outstanding optimism. Run as a warrior. Run with newness and in the now. Oh, you can do it. I know you can because you're stone tried in the fire. You're stone magnificent. You're stone fabulous. You're just stone amazing. <laughs> now, there's a ringing in my ear as the tolling of a bell. It's astounding, so resounding, of a revolution it does tell. Now, there's a tipping and a tapping, such the knocking and a rapping. There's a shaking in the trees. Oh, there's a rustling in the leaves. Can you hear the stone rising, the rumbling of its force? Can you hear the stone rising? He has set his course. Can you hear the bishop rising, coming around the bend? Heard the stone rising, establishing the trend. Oh, can't you hear the victory in his footsteps, all in his face? Heard the bishop rising, such magnificence and grace. Heard in the mountains and heard on the plains. Heard in the burning of restoration's flame. Heard in the tempering of revolution's steel. Heard in the turning of renovation's wheel. Heard in the clapping of affirmation's thunder. Heard even when the soul is made to wonder. Heard in ocean waves applause. Heard for this time and for this cause. Heard on the historical manuscript page. Heard for this time and for this age. Heard on the entire planet Earth stage. Oh, there's a bishop rising. He's bringing change. <laughs>